In today's video, we're gonna be talking about why we only sell white rock lights and not the RGB rock lights. And before we get into the topic, make sure to hit that subscribe button. And if you did, comment below and saying I subscribed, and I'm gonna do my best to go ahead and reply to every single one of your comments. What is up guys, starting this video at a gas station because well, obviously, we are low on fuel. Fuel right now here is 309. And if you have Kroger where you live with the Kroger card, you get three cents off. So it'll be 306. Normally I go to Circle K and use an app called Get Upside. It works really good. I freaking love that app. And I did a quick research. Circle K across the street right there is 319 and I can get it for 298. However, that Circle K, I'm not sure about other ones. Some cuts off at 85, but I know that one cuts me off at 100 bucks. As painful as it is to say, it takes more than 100 bucks to fill this truck up. So last time I was there, I had this much fuel and I filled it up or I put 100 bucks in and it gave me like 98% or 95%. And if I'm gonna stop at a fuel station, I'm just gonna fill it up as much as I can so I don't have to come back for a while. So that 5% kind of does make a big difference to me. I know it's silly, but that's why we're at this Kroger. But if you do wanna download that app and use my promo code, you do get 15 cents off on your next purchase and it does rack up as well. So right now I got like $300 that I need to cash out. They can send it to you via PayPal or it could be gift cards or anything like that you want. So make sure to use the promo code and download that app. Of course. It's only 95 bucks this time I fill it up. So I could have gone to Circle K, but oh well. There we go. Another thing I actually like to do is I like to track all my mileage. I use an app called Fuely, which tracks everything. Mileage, how much I've spent, uh, like, like the average MPG and everything. So I'll show you guys how that works. Just like that, I tracked my fuel mileage. Looks like I got I averaged 13 miles per gallon on the last since the last fuel up. But honestly, like I do idle this truck a lot. Uh, if you look at my fuel economy, right now it's saying 14, almost 15, the last 25 miles, and that seems to be fairly accurate because I've hand calculated before on trips, and that seems to be pretty on point with the tuning and everything. Yeah, like whenever I go to a post office to drop off all the merch or if I'm stopping for about five to 10 minutes, I honestly just let my truck idle. So that does decrease the average MPG a lot whenever uh, whenever you plug it into Fuely. But overall, like 13, I'm still not complaining about it because I got 38 with two inch wheel spacers on 14 wides on nine inch lift. So, you know, I think I, I get better fuel mileage than Alec. What up? So <laughs> that says a lot about diesel trucks. I'm not sure why this dude is just completely staring at my truck. I guess he doesn't like my diesel with his Prius. It does look like fuel prices have gone down. So leave a comment below what your fuel prices are and where you're from. On that note, uh, Stan and Matt just told me the price of DEF went up, which they asked me if, uh, if I've noticed it. And I was like, honestly, I don't even look anymore. So I haven't even noticed. Yeah, that sucks. But we are 100% full. That is what I like to see. 100% right there and 100% right there. Yep, I appreciate you, buddy. Appreciate you. He gave me the, the nod, so he approves. What up? What up? So today we're gonna explain, well, real quick. Mondo has a customer who wants some RGBW lights on their truck. We don't sell RGBs. These were our prototypes that we ordered a long time ago because we were gonna try selling RGBs, but I hate installing them. Yes, and we don't like them. Some people actually really like the fact that they're plug and play with a box and everything, but we're gonna explain to you guys why we don't like RGBs. Uh, first things first, this is a control box 
for, wait, where's the other box? Splitter, there we go. So we got the box and the splitter. Got the box and the splitter. This is good for eight rock lights. So if you're like Alex and really extra and need to run like 30 rock lights, you're probably gonna need about four or five of these boxes mounted either under the truck or under the engine bay or something. So how are you gonna make five of these look good under the hood or the box is the issue it's this well yeah but imagine like five of these just dangling too and <laughs> this guy there you go daddy of the year right there <laughs> alex is going to explain why he hates rgbs even though they're plug and play and they're nice why do you hate them so all the leads on rgb is, are usually the same length mm -hmm. so if you mount rock light in the back take it to the front, yeah, you might have that much left over that you need to get rid of. But the rock lights mount in the front wheel well, you're gonna have 10, 15 foot of wire that you gotta tie up. It's gonna look like a bird's nest and you can include a picture that I took in the video. <laughs> it's really hard to make them look neat. And the way Alex does all the wiring with the white rock lights that we install, he cut some custom length and it looks really neat. There's no bird's nest under the hood. I mean, we, we always get compliments. Uh, Stan's truck, we took it to SEMA and the guys over at Optima Batteries were really impressed at how neat everything was. And there was not a bird's nest under the hood. And they said a lot of SEMA builds have a, a bunch of like unorganized wires and bird's nest and a rat's nest under the hood but they were really impressed with Stan's truck. So that's honestly like one of the main reasons why we like the white rock lights. And two, with the RGBs, uh, with the remote, they work good, but most of the times they are Bluetooth and Bluetooth apps don't really work that well. I've gotten frustrated multiple times trying to connect to my Bluetooth and never work, so. Or, or you got a show, multiple ah. people running RGB stuff the RF frequency of one remote might match someone else's truck. True. You change yours, you're changing theirs too. That's true. It, beef. it happens all the time. Like, no lie. We go down the interstate, mess with cam, change changes colors. Wait, did, it, did you actually do it? Connect you to can it. connect to it? Oh. I tried. Yeah, so. We were going down the interstate last night. He was on purple. I downloaded the McTuning app. I was like, let me connect to this man's truck. <laughs> so I can change colors. So connect. And the sad thing is, you can't really prevent somebody from doing that. No. So anybody can connect to your rock lights and literally like stroll red and white while you're driving and you I don't get think pulled I over. I this RGB as my headliner because I don't think they sell just pure white headliners. Right. So if someone last night at the show changed his colors, he changed my headliner. Ah. But you can make, so if you really want to put in the time and effort, oh, yeah, that's true. you can make these shorter. You can. So like we did on your fiance's dad's uh, Camaro. Yeah. So within this wire, there's five wires being RGBW. They're you have, tiny too. You have R, red, green, blue, ground, and white wires. So that's five wires. You can cut these to length, strip this back. You don't have five little wires inside that you have to reconnect. Yep. If it was my truck, I would do it. But if it was an install, I wouldn't do it. Unless right. you're paying for it. Exactly. It's going to be a lot of extra time. White lights are just much easier to install. These are actually just like my white. These are the same size, same configuration as my premiums. But as you can see, my premiums, all of these LED chips are white, whereas these are all different colors because it's RGBW. So it's one row is uh, red, one row is blue, one row is green, and one row is white. So you're not getting the full potential of all of these chips whenever you have RGBs compared to having all white ones. So that's why we kind of stuck to doing the white ones. I'm a one-man operation for our website and everything. Donnie does. Uh, help out we decided that the amount of questions we might get using the bluetooth and kind of like explain it it's explaining to everybody we want to provide good customer service and uh, we didn't think we we're going to be able to be as responsive with all these rgb and bluetooth questions that people may have so also another reason why we didn't go with rgbs i don't think this is waterproof so that needs to go under the hood right Crap. yeah that needs to water or, longer like, as long as you don't mount it like this where water can drip into here or true. here mount it like this to where that will possibly shield mm -hmm. i think we're fine okay. we can put a little bit of silicone yeah i was gonna say we got silicone under the truck so they just did a six inch lift on this bad boy right in the middle to where the back will run to it the front will run to it Oh, in here? Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh. Uh, elite thinker right here. And we could run the wires through here and make this whole bigger. Oh, another elite thinking. 
This man's on, got We're his thinking shoes on today. Drill a hole right here and run it through mm. this so it doesn't like branch into here. Yep. See, Chupapi? Chupapi Moñeño? Chupapi Moñeño? Yeah. Hey, how is this rough country to install? Super easy. Super easy? It, it's, his angles are like damn near perfect. At that full group. Group. Really? It's a seven inch kit? Yeah. This is a seven inch kit? Mm -hmm. Dang. So is that what it looks like? I guess you guys haven't put the wheels on or anything yeah, yet. Yeah, man, that's, that's that full droop. That's that you full see droop. guys running worse than this on, on the ground. That's true. <laughs> AKA. I'm just no, kidding. I'm, <laughs> I'm just kidding. Actually, like, that's about your angle right there on the ground. No. Mm -mm. No? I don't think so. I think so. It's pretty close. Yeah. Is it? Y'all. I mean, that's not bad. I mean, because you got technically. No, mine are better on the ground. You, got, you guys, yours is better? Okay, it's a little. Oh yeah, it is a little better. But this is actually set at ten or eleven. Ten with an eight inch drop. Okay, so it's, it's about to set at eleven. I'm gonna take the truck off after we drop the suspension to powder everything. You're gonna set at eleven. So you're gonna be squatting a little bit, slightly. Maybe a little bit. Yeah. No more rub. Hope not. No more rub. But I mean, if you do on RGBs, this is probably like the way to go. But like I said. We think white lights are cleaner. We understand that a lot of people still like RGBs, but it's like our preference is just like clean white spaceship rolling football stadium. Yeah, like I said, a lot of people do like the plug and play option because they're like, oh, I don't have to bring out my electrical bin. Everything is plug and play, but all power to you if that's what you want. If you don't want to bring out your electrical bin and you want everything plug and play, but have, have a bird's nest underneath it. I mean, that's all fine too, because not too many people are going to look under your truck. So, I mean, that's what I used to do, but I'm not going to lie. I used to have RGBs and mine used to be a rat's nest too. Until I met this guy, he helped me out a lot with making my truck look cleaner. All my RGBs, I used to like bundle up, bundle it up, zip tie, and then just like tuck it up somewhere and just hide it. Now, I don't want to do that. Oh, another bad thing about RGB is if yeah. it's Bluetooth and it's not to a switch. Yeah. Like if you don't interrupt the, those two power leads on the controller with a switch and your lights are off, truck's off, you're away from it, someone <laughs> goes with theirs. Oh, yeah. cuts it on, it can kill your battery if you don't That's very it. true, yeah. All right, there's so there's, there's Cam one. is the master of RGBs. He loves his rock lights, RGBs. Yeah. And there's nothing wrong with that. But you know what? But hold on. It's not RGB anymore. It's RGB RGBW. W. But I make sure because I do like the pure white color at times. I don't like that ugly blue color. All right, here's, cut them on. Here's a good example. Whenever I turn these on, it goes to that RGB blue. And then it goes to purple. So I have it set up to where I can do all the colors. Let's we'll see, we got so that, That's the pure white. Are you saying your wiring is up to, like, I don't I'm know. Not, I'm not going, this truck's doing one time. I don't want to have to go through and rip everything out and all that. I, I did it one time. So, so your like, RGBWs, you hit all the wires as best as you could. As best as I could. Okay. Like back here, the two rock lights that are back here, I've got one right above the pipe on right. this side and one on the other there is like at least 10 zip ties holding those wires. all right well let's see what it looks like let me see if i can even find a bundle i don't know how i'm going to get down i guess i'll just have to get on the ground yeah where's your control box uh honestly well i can't remember i think it's on this side i remember you don't have it under the hood no so it's under the truck yeah so it's under the truck and i'm uh, uh, let me see if i can find honestly, some room what I did with these, I kind of did these in a rush as we went to that show. Let me see if my fat butt can get down here. There's that one wire from that light. All right, so we are under Cam's truck. So honestly, like this is kind of what I'm talking about. That's about as best as you can do with RGBs. Like I said, like no one's ever really gonna come under your truck and look. You got a control box right here. All the wires come to this intersection like this section right here and all the wires that you don't use you either have to cut and splice all 37 of the wires 
I'm just, I'm exaggerating the numbers. Yeah, because it's five. Yeah. Still. <laughs> but I mean, like times five or ten or twenty or how many rock lights you want to run, or you can kind of like bundle it up like that, which is what most people do. That's exactly what I did as well. Uh, but you know, people like Alex who want everything neat and don't want that, they're gonna have to cut it and literally have to splice five wires per loom. And this is eight rock lights. So what is that? 40, 40 wires that you have to do just for eight rock lights. So it's 10 rock lights and it's 10 separate wires. I mean, it's just like a regular right. like white setup. The only difference is what you can't like on a, on a regular white setup, you yeah. have the two wires and you can cut it to length on an RGB light. The wires in it are very thin. Yeah. I want to say they're like 24, yeah. 26 gauge. I, usually it's 22 are usually the best and they're all run into one wire. But to cut and solder all five wires together, it's not fun. And yeah, nobody wants exactly. to do it. That's what Stan did. And Stan had like 60 rock no, lights he on didn't. his truck. And it was awful. He didn't do that either. So he had about 30 rock lights. And he had about four or five of these control boxes. And as you could imagine, like there was a, just bundles of wires that you can't really hide. So that's what I want to kind of... Uh, there's another... Yeah, right so there. Basically, this is what he's talking about that bundle stuff. It's definitely a lot cleaner than my other truck because, I mean, you don't really have a choice. Yeah. But all of the wires aren't just run randomly like before. Yeah. I tried to make it as clean as possible. And unfortunately, that's about as good as you can get. Exactly. So, Cam, this is like his, what, probably like more than 20th time doing rock lights, right? <laughs> this is more, more, more times than I want to count. Right. That's for sure. And I've done learned that, you know, that's why I did this the way I did it. I mean, you're not going to get any better with the bundles. So what I'm trying to say is, you know, we're all average Joes here, right? I mean, yeah, we do it. Some some do it professionally. Some don't. Cam does it. Obviously, he's yeah. and you're an average Joe. And he's done that like 20 times already. And that's about as good as you can get with the RGBs bundling up. There's ways so, to do it. And you can like bundle it up closer to the rock light. Yeah, itself. you can run it like 10 times until you just run out. But by the end of the day, you'll have a set of wires that's still about as thick as a Red Bull can. Yep. And then you're still trying to hide that. So sometimes what you do is you just get them all at the end, bundle them up. and Yeah, some people the put them in those like looms and kind of hide it that way. Right. Let me show you guys my truck. Don't get me wrong. Like white rock lights aren't any really easier per se. I mean, they are easier to custom make them, but... See, we got we put our switch right here. Nothing is Bluetooth. It's physical button. That's just how I wanted it. Uh, I've had you know plenty of rock lights, and I've come to a conclusion that that's what I want. But don't get me wrong, white white rock lights it still takes a long time to do because you got to cut, splice every wire. Um, Alex has got it down to where he can do it in like four four to eight hours, depending on how many sets he's doing. He could probably do a twenty piece, maybe eight hours. White rock lights are definitely do take time. Because everything is custom. You got to custom cut it if you want to make it look neat and look professional. But at the end of the day, it's still people's, you know, people's choice. Yeah, exactly. Because, like, I like the colors because it gives me the option, you know. Like, for his, I love the white on his. But he's got, like, all the accents for the powder coat and all. I don't. <laughs> so, for me, sometimes, I used to live on a dirt road. So, for me, if I wanted to do the color, it was, it, it, I was able to hide the dirt. Now, I don't have to worry about that. But I still like having that option to stay white. Or change it up to the colors like the other day we went to the uh, to BAM show, the Back the Blue show. I had my police lights on. Mm -hmm. It was cool, you know? And it, you can't do that with this, so you kind of have to stick with what you want. Yep. And I like having the option to play with it as long as it's the pure white. You got those ones that are RGB white. And it's, it's yeah, nice. I don't think most companies don't really offer that anymore because that's like kind of kind of old. That's like right. technology from four years ago. Because I got 25 rock lights. And then that's 10. Yeah, so there's two it's on different each side. different hue. Or two in the back, two in the front, and three on each side. It's all preference. We just wanted to explain why I don't do RGBs. How is your Bluetooth, this like, connectivity-wise? This app is great, but I only do two brands. So I'm, I'm going to, and this is just me, my preference out of, out of all the ones that I've had, I will either stick with Infinite Off-Road or McTuning. Does Infinite Off-Road have their own Infinite app? Infinite Off-Road has, it's, it is a... A random app oh, okay. but i've never had an issue with their connection right unless i'm in the truck playing bluetooth off my like off my phone so mctuning has their own app but mctuning has their own app and like what's neat is mctuning dude i will say their app is probably the best i've ever used their app is probably the best the color output is the best mm -hmm. like out of all the rock lights that i've tested 
MIG tuning is the only one that's color accurate. Like, yep. good example. So we'll go back over here and I'll show you. While he's showing us, I had the first set of rock lights from McTuning like four or five years ago. And that was before they had the app. And I swear to, I swear I used to hate RGBs because of that time, because <laughs> either it, like if my phone was freezing, I couldn't change the colors. If, if right. something was wrong with my phone, that would cause an issue with tr trying to change and then the lights. That, but the blend on it too, and yeah. that's a good example with these. So RGB rock light, you know, obviously that stands for red, blue, green, white. You yeah. Know, you get the W. And so a lot of the times you have two different chips blending together to make a color. Yeah. So for instance, on this, you've got blue and red making purple. And so if you look, I don't know how well the camera can see it, that's but pretty in purple. certain sections of the truck, like for instance, in the very middle of it, right under the rear end, it's red. And oh, I didn't even notice. But then on certain sides, like over here by Looks the... It's bluish. Uh, it's blue. I didn't even now, really see that. that was why I liked the McTuning rock lights, because it's This got, isn't McTuning? No, this is uh, yeah. this is Infinite Off-Road. Oh, uh, okay. But you got the app that works really well, the rock lights. I mean, they're bright, and I yeah. love the white functionality of it. But at the end of the day, if you're going to stick with RGB, the McTuning ones, the color output, it's like more accurate. Yeah. The purple will be purple. For instance, like if I do teal... If there's any rgb rock light that i would recommend it would be mctuning right. i will put the link in the description below to where you can get the mctuning rock lights especially those new c3s mm -hmm. i'll have a video hopefully of those i should be getting them wednesday and i'll be able to test them but like they're wireless rock light so the rock light itself will be able to be run like a white rock light and so you should have only one control panel for like 46 rock lights or something like that that's pretty sweet but this year like you can see the green i don't know if you can see the green yeah the you can truck, see the green pretty good that's that's the about downside to it yeah. does it look bad no but you, know, you don't you really don't even bad. notice it unless like you really look for it right i'm gonna turn my lights off because i don't have optima batteries yet so my truck dies in like four hours <laughs> better than wires Alex got all the rock lights mounted, pretty much ready to go. Now this is what we're talking about. See, like this is probably the cleanest gonna be able to do it. I was, they were all hanging to the ground, zip tied it down first, fold it over, zip tied it, fold it over, zip tied it. Yep. And so. Exactly. But I mean, so even if you buy the pure white ones, like my premium ones, you could buy. You could plug and play those. Yeah, it is plug and play, but I don't sell them as plug and play because of this reason. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna get some comments. You could take the time like you said and cut it. I mean, you could, and but splice. the customer probably doesn't want to spend eight hours tell of labor. A, exactly. Tell yeah. the customer how much it'll be to do that versus versus to do this. They're like, oh, exactly. Birds nest. I like birds. Yeah. <laughs> tweet, tweet. As long as you don't see it. <laughs> exactly. <clears throat> now I got it. I see. It'll go right there. <laughs> Hold up. <laughs> I wonder if I have. I'm gonna figure out a way to get RGBW wires because it's it's a lot of freaking wires. I got RGB wires at the house. Yeah, we can show them that then. Yeah. Because they're tiny, tiny little wires. That's super it's like hard to even. Gauge. Yeah, it's so like inconvenient yeah, wait, to. It says it on here. Twenty-four gauge. Yeah. So we had to do that on the on the Camaro, and it was pain in the butt because. Those wires are so brittle and stuff too. So. Just zip tight to the exhaust pipe, to the Y pipe. <laughs> yeah, so eight piece, if you want it custom length and everything, you're gonna be paying eight hours of labor. So you're gonna be paying about 700 bucks just in labor, just for eight piece rock lights like installed. And people don't wanna pay that much, but people also don't realize how long it takes to install these. But yeah, that's also why we don't sell our premiums as plug and play. And also another reason why we don't sell it is most of the times when people buy our premium, it's because they want to mix match with our advanced beam and and or with our premium plus. Most of the times our customers use more than 20 rock lights. In order to run 20 plus rock lights, it's just better to do it custom instead of using a box. This is only eight. Yeah, that's only eight. Could you imagine like 16 or even let's say like 24 or something like that. Almost there. That box is gonna make this 
I might need to do that cover plate. <laughs> All right, so got everything ran up to the cross member right here and came up with something brilliant. A little block off plate. Not only to hide, but to protect the wire. Exactly. So, I mean, the bundle is in there, but you won't see it. I feel so. bad if they ever have to do, whoever does work on this trans. Because if they plan on, if they, if they have to drop the trans, remove this plate, take the wires out, unhook all the wires, pull them out of the, out of the cross member, then drop the cross member. Yeah, I mean, it's going to take them like extra 30 minutes, I think. Yeah. It's just whenever, if someone brought me their truck and I saw that, I'd be like, Mm -mm -mm. Snip, snip, snip. <laughs> snip, snip, snip. Six inch lift with new wheels and tires or? No. No? Custom one, bro. Okay. Gosh, 37 degrees. Truck runs so good tonight. That turbo spool is instant. She is happy. Like, comment, and subscribe. <laughs> <laughs>